Air Jordan 37, hairs. Alright, so what's up YouTube? Just another quick pickup for you, video for you for today. And we have the Air Jordan 37 in the white and true red colorway, uh, otherwise known as the hairs. And uh, I'm not really gonna go over a lot of the stuff with the shoe itself, because I did most of that in the um, Beyond Borders video. So really I just wanna touch on uh, the colorway itself. And like since since I made the last video, pictures of the black and red colorway from the black and red 7s, what they're going to do in the 37s have leaked. And I'm starting to think that like they didn't really think about the colorway so much, the like how they're going to implement the colorway when they were designing the actual shoe. Because like this, I mean, it's, I mean, for the most part, the hairs are pretty much all white. You got the light silver in there, so you do have like the contrast upper a little bit with the 7s. So with these, it's basically the same white. You get the contrast upper a little bit just with the, the leather hits and then the leno weave. Um, but for the most part, it is all white, just like the sevens. Sevens do have the all red tongue and they have the um, the pattern at the top of here from the sevens, obviously. But other than that, I mean, that's kind of it because when you think about the sevens, especially the hairs, it's pretty much mostly white except for the tongue and then you have the two peaks that come up on the on the midsole at the heel and at the forefoot and just the fact that there's nothing here on this side really other than just you know some designs in the midsole it's just kind of like sculpted a little bit but there's nothing like the outsole doesn't come up and there's no place here to really put any color so you're limited to the to the heel portion where i think this like angle here was you know kind of brought over from the seven a little bit because the seven has that prominent peak at the heel um, but with this, they, you know, they made it clear and then it just has the, um, the Formula 23 inside of it, that foam that's red. So it's kind of a little bit of a nod to the seven, but for the most part, this shoe is, it's pretty white. <laughs> it's pretty white, man. And it's not, and this isn't, you know, it's the red behind the clear. So it's not the full red. Like if this was entirely red, it would be a little bit more prominent, but, um, you know, seeing these and then with the black and reds. It's like that. I don't think they really were thinking about the colorways when they were designing the shoe, which is okay. I get it. You know, you're not looking to redo the Jordan 7. You want to make a new shoe and just have some of that, you know, design inspiration in there, which is there. It's there. Um, I just wish there was a little something, something up here, you know, a little something just to give it a little more color um, because you can't really do much with the, the leno weave in the upper. Um, like if they had made the underlay here, like we see like the little panels, like how it is on the seven, if they had tried to make that, you know, red or some other color, I think it would've been a little bit too much. Um, and just the way they did the outsole, like you couldn't really have it, you know, wrap up anywhere else. They had to include the green and the yellow from the hairs as well. They could've put, I mean, maybe they could've made this one red here, just so the red would show a little bit right here. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I do like them. I know I'm kind of talking down on them. I do like them. Um, I already returned the Beyond Borders colorway. That was just for sizing purposes. So I do like these. Um, speaking of sizing, I went true to size again. 
So same size you did with the 36, I would do that with the 37 as well if you're curious about how they fit. Um, but just this video is really just specifically on the colorway. I do like them. Um, I am concerned with some yellowing over time. Like you can already see that like the leno weave upper and then the bottom here where it's leather and then where the midsole is, it's already slightly a different color. Like this is already slightly kind of turning like an off white. You know with time it's just going to get worse and worse. Um, I don't know if this nylon part here might yellow. This clear sole, this clear rubber here might yellow. Um, so over time, <laughs> I don't know how they're going to look, but um, I mean, I'm happy with what they did. I don't know. It's just like the the way they designed the shoe itself. I'm not sure what else they could have done to um, like really shout out the, the hairs. Um, and then with the black and reds, I'll, I'll save my comment for that video because I, I do plan on picking those up as well. But I do like these. I do like them. I do plan on wearing them just casually. I only got one pair. Uh, maybe I'll get it if they go on sale. They didn't sell out, so maybe I'll double up later down the road. But um, it's like some. I mean, I'm glad that they went back to doing the colorways like this um, from the shoot 30 years prior because they didn't do it at all for the 32, 3, 4, and 5. They went back to it with the 36, really. So I'm glad they're doing it. I just. Mm, I, I'm a little disappointed with how it turned out overall just because. The design of the shoe itself doesn't allow for a little more callback. That's all. That's all. Um, but for the most part, I'm happy with them. I think they're pretty clean. Um, probably too white to hoop in, so I'll probably just hoop in the black ones when I get the chance. Um, but just let me know what do you think. What do you think about the you know, Jordan 37 overall? Um, what do you think about them still using the older colorways? I didn't show the, the Air Jordan on the back of the tongue there. What do you think about them still using the older colorways? Just let me know down in the comments. I know a lot of people are just, they're, they're pretty cold on the on the 37 because they don't have a lot of casual appeal. But um, just from trying them on, these seem like they're going to be a monster of a hoop shoe. So for those those of us that play, this is definitely going to be a, a, a great shoe. But just let me know. Um, if you like my content, do all the good YouTube stuff for me. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.